Good morning. As I relay in today's meditation, uh, Maestro Eckhart is very busy encouraging us to tap into our creativity, which is for him our nobility, our godlikeness. After all, for him, God is the creator above all else. And uh, we are co-creators with divinity. For example, in one of his sermons, he says, it is good for a person to receive God into himself or herself. And I call this receptivity the work of a virgin. The virgin is receiving the God self. But it is better when God becomes fruitful within a person, when God becomes fruitful. For becoming fruitful as a result of a gift is the only gratitude for the gift. I call such a person a wife. And in this sense, the term wife is the noblest term we can give the soul. It is far nobler than virgin. Now, it's interesting because he gave this sermon um, to Beguines, who um, were celibate women who lived outside monasteries and outside marriage in his time. And he's telling them that even though they were celibate, that it's, it's better to, um, to bear fruit. And he's saying that uh, virgins can bear fruit too. Don't settle for just being uh, uh, receptive, he's saying. And then he says, every day such a person bears fruit a hundred times or a thousand times or countless times, giving birth and becoming fruitful are the most noble foundation of all. The most noble foundation of all. And so you can see what tremendous emphasis he puts on the via creativa, the path of creativity. And as I'm saying in the essay today, clearly we're all called to this creativity today. We need a literal explosion of creativity because really none of our professions are doing their job right. We have to give birth to an educational system, to an economic system, to a political system, to religious views of the world uh, that carry the weight and substance of our time, uh, that can get the job done, that can take us deeper into our depths, into our nobility as a species, uh, to wake up to the, the sins of our fathers, if you will, that is to say the inherited mess and chaos we have from the era that we're just emerging out of, that it quite was so narcissistic to use Pope Francis's term, so anthropocentric, that we ignored the other systems of the planet, the other creatures, our relationships with them, uh, simply to exploit. So we have to move beyond all that, and that's going to take strength, and it's going to take imagination. And this is why tapping into Eckhart's deep teaching about our noble nobility and our creativity is so useful. And then I think of the great psychologist Adarank, R-A-N-K, who says that all neurosis is the artiste manque, the, the failed artist. And um, we stand back from that and look at our world today as being neurotic, uh, not just the events of January 6th that blow up in our face whenever we want to think of democracy, but the yearning for authoritarianism in many countries in the world today, and our ignoring, our being in denial about climate change and all the effects that is happening and will have happening on our children and grandchildren. When we look at our world today, there's a lot of neurosis to go around. And there too, though, Ronk is saying that neurosis is a misuse of our creativity. Instead of applying it to reality, we apply it to our 
the bad messages we have about ourselves. When we've lost the sense of nobility, the royal person that we all are as children of God, um, as images of God, as Buddha natures, other Buddhas, other Christs, other images of God, when we lose that, then we spend our, our deep powers of creativity um, projecting uh, suffering on, on others uh, and on ourselves. This is the artiste manque. This is what neurosis is, says Autobahn. He says, when religion lost the cosmos in the West, the whole society became neurotic. And that's when we invented psychology to deal with the neurosis. So we can undo this neurosis by bringing in the cosmic sense again, which takes us beyond just the human, beyond our anthropocentric agendas. When we do that, we'll not only heal our souls, we will be in a much sturdier place and looser place, imaginative place to heal the planet as we know it. That's the good news, I think, from um, Meister Eckhart and Otto Rank, speaking the deep, the deep issue of tapping into our nobility when, as we tap into our creativity. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow.